Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to look at in this video is some Wi-Fi settings that you shouldn't use. You should not be using them. If you are, you need to rethink how you have your 2.4 gigahertz uh, deployed. We'll do 5 gigahertz in a separate video, but this is specifically about 2.4 gigahertz. So what I've got here is I've got my U6 Lite. And um, what... You can see as I did an RF scan and we are looking specifically right now at the 2.4 gigahertz. So in the United States of America, we have three non-overlapping channels, one, six, and 11. And when you're designing using Wi-Fi, those are the three channels that you should typically use because they don't overlap. They don't cause any adjacent channel interference. They don't cause any co-channel interference. Now, uh, the other thing that you need to understand is your APs all need different channels. Don't set all of your APs to channel one, six, or eleven. That's not how this. That's not how this works. You're going to create uh, co-channel interference, in-band interference. You're going to cause yourself way more problems than what it's worth. So, somewhere around um, Wi-Fi four or eight hundred two point eleven in they decided it was a good idea to allow 40 megahertz channels on the 2.4 gigahertz and that is not a great idea because uh look at this and i know what you're saying you're saying willie uh they designed it uh and and so you know we should be able to 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 use it but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could they didn't stop to think if they should Okay, just because it's here doesn't mean you should use it. So if you have a 40 megahertz uh, channel, which means you bond, you know, two channels together, there are n no channels here that don't overlap. So you're going to cause those adjacent channel interference, co-channel interference. You're going to wreak havoc. You're going to be that person that is is doing things that you really shouldn't. And I know what you're saying. Well, what if I'm out in the middle of nowhere and there's nobody around? You know what? You can you can um, ignore all the advice from people who've had their boots on the ground that do this, and uh, and have your 40 megahertz channels and uh, try to uh, divide it up. You know, with these APs, but you're still going to have Wi-Fi performance issues. It's not going to be optimum. So, what should you be using? You should be using ideally channels one, six, and 11. What's really nice about Unify is they provide in their APs, you can do this, this uh, frequency scan, and you can see in the channels how much utilization there is, how much interference it is. And here's something else that you should know is it also uh, tells you the frequency range. So if you wanna know what the frequency range is, uh, you would look at this, and be able to tell. So channel one is 2402 to 2422. Um, but <laughs> it's so ridiculous when you do this 40 megahertz. Uh, so this this one uses one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and as you go down, it tells you what other channels they're they're using. Um, for a 40 megahertz channel, and you're not going to get that much better speed for all of the headaches that it's going to cause. So do yourself a favor, do a site survey, check out what's going on, design your Wi-Fi appropriately. If you need help, you can reach out to us or other professionals uh, that do this. We can get you towards the software. We can come on site. We can help you with these things. But check it out. You need to design appropriately, not only for you, but for the people around you. If you've got any questions about this, let me know down in the comments. I'll try to answer everything that I can. And if you know you're using 2.4 gigahertz, 20 megahertz channels, and you're being a good neighbor when it comes to the public bands, because if you are purposefully uh, interfering in the public bands, FCC could be on your tail. Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment, share, please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. The link for IT consulting uh, to help you out with all your Wi-Fi, wired, security, storage needs are, is down below, willyhow.com. Click hire us, 
um, or contact us, fill that form out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. All of our affiliate links are down below and our Patreon link. Once again, I want to thank you for being here. If you've got questions about this, make sure you post them below. Once again, I'm Willie, and I'll see you in the next video.